So today we're going to take the seeds from this bag and plant them in the seed tray. I've got all ready prepared. These seeds were taken, uh, well the seeds were, came from these gum nuts, this red iron bark. I caught the gate crusher tree because the tree fell and crushed the gate. So the seeds were collected on the 30th of October and today's the 17th of November. So about three weeks. So what I'm going to do is take out take out some gum nuts and oops. So if you can come in close. You'll see that I'll put the gum nuts and also I should mention I marked the bag, the paper bag, where what tree it was and what date of the collection. And I left it in a sunny spot inside for a few weeks. And that, so what happens is the gum nuts release all their seeds. So you, you see down the bottom all these seeds and you know, this is a good supply. There's plenty in here. Can you get a good look at all these seeds? Now there's two lots. There's chaff and there's seeds. So the seeds are the dark, darker, darker little. And what I'll do is I'll, I'm not going to separate the chaff from the seeds. You can. Can you see that? So there's the chaff, the, the sort of sandy coloured ones, and the seeds are the darker ones. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to separate, you can separate them, but I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to bother with that. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just sprinkle them on this seed tray I've prepared, and I've marked the seed tray with a marker with red iron bark, and today's date the 17th of the 11th, and that's why I know. So all I, go away you beast. All I do is just sprinkle them like that. It's not windy today, which is great. <clears throat> uh, I like planting in seed trays because you get pretty good germination. Okay, well, because we've got so many, I'll just throw in some more. It doesn't matter, you just pick out the strongest ones. Okay, that's all like that. Now I just like to do that just so that they're <clears throat> connected to the soil. Then I'm going to use this. Just lightly, you can use sand. I'm just going to use that lightly over the surface, which you'll see me do. It's sort of, you can use sand or gravel. Like that. And I'll show you the progress of this. Hopefully something comes up within the next couple of weeks. So we'll see. So I've just got to give them a drink. A little, again, a nice light spray. Um, nothing too heavy. Just get... So, again, something like this sprayer. And then I'll put it in to my little hot house over there. And that hot house has got a has got a misting system, which is great because you don't have to water every day, you just turn the tap on. And um, tomorrow I'll pick up a new hot house, even better. <clears throat> I should have said that some seeds need to be put in the fridge for four weeks. Um, so just check, not all seeds you put straight into seed trays. Some, some seeds like messmates, you have to, it's best if you, I don't know the, the actual term, the scientific term, but you put them in the fridge for four weeks just, and then you take them out and that sort of tricks the seeds into thinking that it's spring or something. I think that's the theory behind it. But with these red iron barks, you don't need to put them in the fridge beforehand. But just do your research on that. Um, 
and I hope that's, hope that's useful. Thank you.